Risotto is one of the favourites of Italian cuisine. It can be served as an entree or a main course. If you can master a risotto bianco or a white risotto, you can then make any risotto you like because you can add the flavourings later. So that's what we're going to do to start off with. Now, butter or you can use butter and olive oil. I quite like the flavour that butter gets. So melt some butter in your pot and then I've got a finely diced brown onion. I don't want this to, uh, to burn, so I'm getting that in quite quickly. The next stage is to add the rice. So you really should use arborio rice. There's a few different types, sometimes called risotto rice. And the reason we use this rice is that it will absorb three times its volume of liquid. And the secret to a really good risotto is that it will become really creamy and yet those grains will actually remain distinct. You don't want anything fluffy for a risotto. So we just want to get a little bit of the aroma there from the onion. You could add garlic as well if you wished. And now we add the rice and the idea is that you want it to toast. So we're stirring the rice because we want to get it coated in butter and then we just want to toast it slightly. There, now that that rice has just been in for a couple of minutes, it's toasted and what they say in Italy is that rice may be born in water but it drowns in wine. So the secret to risotto, a little bit of white wine goes in at the beginning and you must evaporate it off right at the beginning. Do not add wine later on and do not mix wine with stock, that's not how you do it. So what we do now is stir this until the wine is evaporated. Meanwhile over here, I have got some vegetable stock that I've mixed with water. I find all stock is a little bit too strong. You can go in a ladle full or so at a time and once again, you just keep stirring until that has evaporated off and then you can add your next bit of stock. Now this happens more quickly at the beginning and a little bit slower at the end. So this stage of a risotto takes round about 20 minutes. So you just need to keep stirring. It's very lovely and rhythmic and quite relaxing to uh, stand here and just stir it for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now let's try this. It should still be a touch al dente or mm, firm to the tooth. Now, I've got some prawns that are peeled and deveined and these will actually cook in the risotto they don't take very long at all and I'm only going to season this now because you never know how hot a stock is so having tasted that I can see that it needs quite a bit of salt and I find seafood does need salt and some pepper and that stray prawn and I just need a cloth for this Okay, so before I put the prawns in, I had my classic risotto bianco, but now I'm putting the prawns in, I'm turning it into something else. I could add mushrooms, I could add chicken, I could add some peas, but I'm just going to keep it to prawns with dill and uh, I may put a little bit of lemon juice in too. I'll just uh, cook a little more. There we go. And then it's really lovely. You can see this uh, consistency. It's still quite wet and that's how I like my risotto to be a little bit wet. And to finish it off, it's lovely to put in some extra butter. And the dill. But one thing I'm not going to add is cheese because in Italy you never add cheese to a seafood risotto. So we can stir this through and don't overcook the prawns because the heat of the rice is going to keep them cooking. And there it is. You can actually test and see if how wet that is. You want it to be quite soft but no liquid coming out of it. So to me that looks like an absolutely perfect prawn and dill risotto.